What if I told you there's something out there in space so gigantic it would take light, traveling at nearly 300,000 kilometers per second over a billion years to cross from one side to the other? Our Milky Way galaxy contains billions of stars and is already unimaginably huge. But this structure, known as Kipu, makes our entire galaxy look like a tiny grain of sand next to an entire continent. Scientists say Kipu might be the largest structure we've ever discovered in the universe. But what does largest even mean when we're talking about space? And could something even bigger be hiding just beyond our view? So what exactly is Kipu? Named after the ancient Incan counting method that used knots on cords to represent numbers, Kipu isn't just huge, it's an intergalactic titan. Imagine a web-like network of galaxies stretching across unimaginable distances. That's what astronomers found when they discovered Kipu, a vast cosmic filament spanning roughly 1.3 billion light years. To wrap your head around how enormous this is, if our entire solar system were the size of your neighborhood, Kipu would stretch halfway across the Earth. This colossal cosmic web contains countless galaxies, each home to billions of stars, planets, and possibly life itself. To better understand how astronomers found Kipu and whether this structure is actually the largest ever found, we reached out to Dr. Chris Impe, a distinguished astronomer, educator, and author at the University of Arizona. Astronomers started with an X-ray survey that identifies rich clusters of galaxies based on hot gas in the cluster. They then map out the clusters and look for statistically significant overdensities on very large scales. That way, superclusters of galaxies can be identified. Think of this like mapping cities on Earth at night. From space, you can see bright lights clustered together indicating population centers. Similarly, astronomers use these cosmic X-ray lights to locate dense galaxy clusters. But here's the tricky part. Galaxies aren't evenly scattered through space. They clump together, forming patterns that aren't always obvious. Researchers needed powerful statistical methods to confirm if these clusters truly formed one huge connected structure. Kipu is a complex structure with one long filament and multiple side filaments. It's about 1.3 billion light years in length, and the galaxies in it contain 200,000 trillion solar masses. If the universe was an ocean, Kipu would be like a gigantic coral reef, each galaxy cluster representing coral linked together, forming a huge interconnected underwater landscape. Within this single structure lies an unimaginable number of galaxies, each packed with billions of stars, planets, and potentially even life forms. This intricate cosmic web isn't random, it's shaped by gravity pulling galaxies into clusters and clusters into superstructures. Kipu's complexity is an incredible reminder of gravity's power to shape the entire universe. But does Kipu really top the charts as the largest known structure in the universe? Kipu is the largest structure known, but even larger structures may exist, since Kipu is half a billion light years away and there are large volumes in the more distant universe still to search. However, statistical methods are needed to define enormous structures, which can lead to debate over which is actually the largest. Defining the largest structures is difficult since they don't have clear edges and they have to be defined by the skeleton traced out by the rich clusters, not by the distribution of individual galaxies. Think about it like trying to define the edge of a city. Is it where buildings stop or where fewer people live? Astronomers face a similar problem with cosmic structures. For example, the Sloan Great Wall stretches about a billion light years, making it enormous but slightly shorter than Kipu. But there's another giant, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, claiming a length of 10 billion light years. But there's an issue. It's so far away and faint, scientists still debate if it truly counts as a connected structure. Astronomers rely heavily on statistical methods to identify these massive structures. Tiny changes in how you measure or define them can completely change the results, making the title of largest very tricky. Now you might be wondering, why does discovering something as massive as Kipu even matter? What does it tell us about the universe itself? It tells us that our theory of structure formation is correct because structure in the universe forms first on small scales and then on larger scales. So entities like Kipu should be rare, and they are. 
Think of it like constructing a skyscraper. You start with small bricks, gradually building upwards. Similarly, the universe began forming smaller galaxies first, which then grouped into larger structures like clusters and eventually superclusters, creating gigantic networks like Kipu. This isn't just about being the largest. Finding Kipu helps astronomers confirm the story of how the universe evolved from tiny fluctuations after the Big Bang into the gigantic cosmic structures we see today. When astronomers study enormous structures like Kipu, they're essentially looking back in time, uncovering secrets about how the universe grew and evolved over billions of years. Kipu can also be used to detect departures from smooth Hubble expansion, and its mass may eventually be estimated and more accurately measured using gravitational lensing. So, Kipu is like a massive natural laboratory. By measuring its gravity and the way it bends and distorts light, a process known as gravitational lensing, astronomers can weigh it, like placing an enormous structure onto a cosmic scale. This could help us better understand if the universe is expanding evenly, or if there are subtle ripples or irregularities that hint at something deeper, maybe even pointing us toward new physics. Such colossal structures are clues about how our universe came to be. They confirm our theories of cosmic evolution and structure formation, showing us we're on the right track. But discoveries like this also remind us how little we truly know about what's out there. If we can find something as massive as Kipu, what other unimaginable structures might we find deeper into the unknown? Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.